How's it going everyone? Kevin here and today I'm going to do a quick demo on how to fillet a bluefish. And there's two reasons we're filleting a bluefish today. One is if you're new to filleting fish or if you're unsure about how to fillet and clean a fish, bluefish is a great one to learn on. Very basic shape to it and I can kind of explain what goes into filleting a fish. Second reason we're doing a bluefish today is I've got some tricks. A lot of people think bluefish is too fishy. Um, they don't like the way it tastes. But I've got some tricks in the way you fillet a fish that can reduce that fishy flavor and in my opinion turns bluefish into a great eating fish. So the first thing we're going to do, I have a Havilon knife set, has some interchangeable blades, and for a fish like this, a bluefish this size, I'm going to go with a shorter flexible blade, push the button, put that on, that snaps right in. So I don't need a really long fillet knife. Um, if I was doing like a big fluke or flatfish flounder type fish, um, I would probably want a longer flexible blade. If I was doing fish like a striped bass that has a tough skin, I would need a stiffer blade. For a bluefish, something like this is perfect. Now, let's start by looking at the bluefish and kind of explaining what does the inside of a fish look like. And so basic fish here, obviously you've got the skull of the fish and the spine of a fish runs right down the center. So dead center of all the meat on this fish is the spine. From the spine, you've got bones that go straight up toward the fins, and then you've got the ribs that come down. So basically you have one filet on each side of the fish. So if you look at it from the top, looking down, you're gonna wanna cut in, down along the spine, get a filet off one side, and then a filet off the other side. Pretty straightforward. The one thing that makes filleting a fish tricky is the rib bones that come off that backbone. And so the rib bones come out toward the skin on the front on each side. So what you really are gonna get off a fish like this is the thickest meat kind of along the shoulder, cut out these ribs, and then cut down to get all the meat that's along this tail and get that off of each side. So the first cut you're gonna to wanna to make is behind this. This is the pectoral fin. Lift that up and look behind. There's bone behind the pectoral fin, so you wanna be right in front of that. And you're looking to make a cut that comes up to get this meat right behind the skull, good piece of meat there. And so nothing too special here. Slowly get into the skin of the fish right there. You can see with a sharp knife, you should get into ease pretty easily. And then it's just about a straight line up into this shoulder meat. So there you go. So you've now cut that. And as you go down, you'll feel yourself get to the spine and you don't wanna cut through the spine. The next move is to work backwards. So along, again, you've got bones coming from these fins, the dorsal fins on the top that go straight down to the spine. And so you wanna stay above those on this side of them. So you turn the knife, you've gone down like this, turn the knife this way to cut along those fins. So if you notice, I'm keeping the knife right now. I can feel, cause it's kind of a, it's a thin blade. I can feel the, those bones that are coming up to the fin. I can, I'm not going all the way to the bottom of the fish. I'm staying on this side of the spine and I'm just cutting along that back meat. And I'm gonna take this all the way back almost to the tail. And a good thing to do here is take a look at your work. You can kind of peel this back and see what I've done here. So I've now separated all this meat on the top. And again, here's, that, here's the spine. Spine runs right through here. Bones that come straight up to the fins. So I've cut down and cut that meat away. And now what I wanna do is work along the rib cage and you can take your time here. Um, you don't need to be one of those filet videos where the fishmonger goes super fast. Go slow and work the meat away from the bone. So what I'll do now is hold the meat with one hand and I can feel where those ribs are and just start cutting away from them. So you'll see it peel away just like that. And now look, you can see, again, spine right here. Here are those rib bones coming off. And if you get some of them in the filet, that's fine. You can trim those off in a minute. What you wanna do is get as much meat on this piece and then work the bones off. So once I'm around those ribs on the other side here, now it's just about cutting away this tail meat. And if you do this right, you cut back here, you leave all the guts here. So you're not cutting into the stomach, you're not cutting into the intestine. You don't have to worry about any of that contaminating the meat. And now it's just working that filet off. So here, can kind of just turn the blade. Again, you're keeping it flat against the spine. Work it back towards the tail, cut it off. And what you're left with is this fillet. So again, spine runs down here, bones come this way, ribs right here, and now you've cut that away. 
the piece of meat you're left with is bone free. So you have the entire back of the fish here. You've got some belly meat here. The only place you're gonna find bones will be the rib bones up here. If you didn't cut around all of them, you can check with the knife, kind of do this, and you can see where the tips of those are. And it's just a matter of kind of cutting down a little bit. Use your fingers, feel the bones get behind them, and cut them away. Now on a big fish, you can be really strict about staying tight to those ribs and, and keeping that meat. On a bluefish about this size, you're gonna waste a little bit clearing those ribs out, but I'd rather just get rid of the bones and not worry too much about a small piece of meat. So that's what I'm trimming away there. Yeah, there's some meat there, but this is mostly the rib bones coming off. And there's your bluefish fillet. You flip it over, repeat on the other side, it's how you fillet a fish. But first, we're gonna take the skin off this fillet and I'm gonna show you a little trick that can help take away the fishy flavor that you get in bluefish. All right, so you have your bluefish fillet. This works on bluefish, it's a particularly fishy fish, but you can see this on even striped bass, um, some other fish. If you've taken good care of your fish, you've bled it, so when you catch it, you um, put it in an ice, a bucket full of icy seawater, cut the gills, get some of the blood out, that'll help with the flavor. But the biggest thing you can do is get rid of this darker meat. So that darker meat, they call that the bloodline, and that has a really strong fishy flavor. People who say they don't like bluefish, a lot of times what they really mean is they don't like the taste of that dark meat. And if you're eating bluefish and you get some of that dark meat on your fork, it just gives you the, this a very fishy taste. Start by taking the skin off. If you have nails, that helps. Use your fingertips to hold down the filet. Got the skin side down. Go down into the meat a little ways, not all the way through the skin though. Turn the blade, and what you're doing is holding it flat against the skin and in kind of a sawing motion, let the knife do the work, work towards what was the head of the fish. So put it down, and this should go pretty easily. And what you can also do, another trick, if you can get a good grip on the skin at this point, you actually hold the skin, keep the knife steady, and you're really just kind of working the fish back and forth. Sharp knife should go right through that, and you can see it separates the skin from the meat. Now, here's what I'm talking about. You can see it really easily on this blue fish. Flat to the skin and along the lateral line of the fish is where you get this dark meat. If you were to cook this blue fish just like this and serve it, all of that dark meat would come out and have a really strong fishy flavor. Turns off a lot of people and that's why they think they don't like blue fish. So removing that is the key to making this blue fish, I think, taste delicious. Sharp knife, flexible knife. You can come along the top, hold that down, and very carefully just work and kind of peel it away. So right now you're removing any of that dark meat that was tight up against the skin. And you can see as that comes away, it's got a, a soft texture to it. I can smell it, it's not the best. I set that aside and you're kind of cleaning up this filet. Comes off pretty easily. You're not gonna remove all of it, but every bit you remove is gonna make this taste better. Now the thickest part is this, this is the bloodline. And so what you do here, I flip it back to this side, it's narrow, on, uh, this would be like the inside of the filet. And so I just cut straight through. Separate the filet now into two pieces. And what you can see is now you get a good look at where that bloodline is. And it's kind of wedge shaped. So on the inside of the fish it's thin and then it spreads out and gets thicker towards the skin. So by separating that into two pieces, I get a good look at where that bloodline is. I can cut that away now without wasting too much of the fish. So look at this, one cut right through here. There's the bloodline there off that filet. That's the stuff you really don't want to eat. Toss that aside. And you're left with a filet, a piece of blue fish that's pretty clean. This is going to be delicious. So many options. Grill it. I think we're going to try and do a quick smoke on this and make a blue fish dip. Repeat the same thing on this filet. You can see the bloodline right here. Again, it's kind of... Uh, triangular shaped, I guess. So thicker on this side, thinner on that side. And if you work the knife along it, just like that, cut it away. And you can see behind it there, all clean, good looking meat. Again, throw that aside. You've reduced the fishy flavor of this meat now um, because you've removed so much of that bloodline. The rest of it, what's left here is gonna cook up beautifully. And uh, so next step, we're just gonna take this meat and we're gonna do a quick smoke on it, turn it into some smoked bluefish dip. 
so stick with us.